We are That's rolling. That's fucking weird, isn't Don't it? Don't rub the table. <laughs> oh, yeah. Are we a little close, it's maybe? It's a little bit smelly here, isn't it? <laughs> Can you see my, my, my better angle? <clears throat> Fits where I missed all the shaving. Are you ready? Yeah, let's go. Okay, guys, thanks for tuning in. Uh, today we're going to be two cooks plus one. This is Nick. He's an extra cook for today. Nick's specialty is <laughs> walking over, <laughs> laughing, <laughs> <laughs> beards, and uh, and gestures. <laughs> it's quite, I think Nick's a good surfer. So uh, yeah, I, yeah. I dabble yeah. a bit of surfing. Yeah, uh, and uh, <laughs> it's really hard, isn't it? As soon as you're in front of the camera, you just turn into a fucking like vegetable. To, uh, big up my no, no, no. Uh, yeah, I like to surf. I teach surfing. Uh, I like to travel a lot. Um, test reviews for Surf Bunker. Um, yeah, and then deliver it to you, the people. Brilliant. Well, I it's nice to have you, mate. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, nice <laughs> to have you here. Yeah, no tapping. I've got to cut that now. Yeah. Oh, <coughs> no tapping. What are we going to look at first? Well, let's start with something that I'm quite excited about. Okay. Um, something that got sent to us to the office was something from Portugal, uh, and it was from Eco Pro, and it is uh, a cork tail pad. A lot of cork comes from Portugal. It's the biggest producer of cork in the world, as far as I know. Uh, well, as it happens, I've got it here with me now. Okay. Uh, Jesus! Yep. Yeah. Wow. So there we are. Look yeah. at that. What's that? How did, where did that come from? So there it is. It's uh, the, yeah, the cork tail pad. Right. Uh, yeah, they say on the website it's 100% uh, cork, uh, but actually after a little bit of research and a little bit of chat with the guy, uh, I think it turns out it's 97% cork. And 3% glue, I would and, think. And some sort of binder, yeah, 3% binder, which actually still is, is really, really good in this uh -huh. industry, I think. Um, is it the first, uh, is, it, is there other cork products nice. like it? Or? I actually have come across a couple of others, um, but their composite mix um, is pretty poor. So it's kind of, okay. uh, they, these guys actually did a test on some other cork pads and they had like 0.005% cork and the rest was just pretty much the same <laughs> sure. as any other table pad. We're not going to mention who they are. Let's, oh, uh, right. let's yeah. probably won't uh, help yourself. Sell so yeah. people eco products that aren't eco products seems to be the name the of the game. Though, yeah, yeah, they're riding yeah. the, green, the green train. Uh, but these guys, this guy is, is really legit. Um, and yeah, all the cork comes and is produced in Portugal. Um, and he's actually just won the finalist for the ISPO Munich. Um, is it like a, an award thing that they have for surf products every year? Yeah, ISPO? well, it's, it's an expo that they do every year. It's about, I think it's five days where all companies come along with all their new products, all uh -huh. their new season uh, lines and all that sort of stuff. Um, and he's presented this at that expo and he won the award for the interview. Brilliant. Yeah. That's cool. Which is really, really good. Yeah. So yeah, it's cool. It's cork, sustainable, mm -hmm. eco-friendly. Um, so it's a wiser sort of purchasing choice, I think. Reasonably priced. This comes in, this one comes in at 45 euros. That's not okay. so bad. That's um, pretty kind of high end. But would you pay that? You I don't like paying money for anything. So I don't like paying money for anything anymore. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> So when you get older and you need spectacles, that's when that's, that's when, when you get started yeah. looking at stuff in a different way. To be fair, yeah, I mean, other pads uh, that we've looked at, you know, at the high end, yeah, they're in, they come in at 45 euros. Okay. Uh, you definitely, yeah, you can get some maybe a lot cheaper. Uh, but, but this I, is an ecological product that actually you're not paying a premium for. If you're paying the same price as what you would pay for another premium tail pad. Exactly, which, yeah. Um, means you're not having to fork out more money, which yeah. is good news. Oh, it does look nice, actually. Should we stick it on the table um, so we yeah. can show the... <coughs> up there. So what do you a little bit smaller than I would normally tap. Do they have another size? So they, or? At the minute, they've got two. So this guy uh, produced these last year, um, so he's still quite new in the game, and he's got two. So this one is the smaller one, then he's got another one which comes in three parts, and it's a little bit bigger, right, okay. um, and I think it's more designed for swallow because it's got the triangle cut out here. Um, but I did ask him and he said uh, this year they're going to bring out a lot more models. Okay. Uh, so with the success, uh, I think we're going to start to see a lot more right, uh, really. shapes and sizes for different types of boards. I think the next one they wanted to work on was a retro twin. Right. Uh, which I think this sort of court pad will look really, really good on the old school okay. sort of boards. When I first put this one on, I didn't think it would suit this type of board, like mm -hmm. look-wise. Um, it looks I'm, nice, it looks good with the band wall as well. Yeah, I think it looks brilliant. What uh, is the board? Uh, this is a lost short round of 5.8, okay. uh, so it's a small wave weapon, but it can still handle a little bit of size. It's my go-to board, I use it a lot, okay. uh, so everywhere Thanks, I Matt. Travel, yeah. So I test, where did I test it? I tested no one's it. paid his yet. <laughs> <laughs> yet. Uh, bank account, bank account, account, bank account details are below. <laughs> uh, yeah, so where did I tested it? In Portugal, Spain, 
Um, when I first started try testing it, I had mainly surf boots on. Uh -huh. um, and then I've just spent a month in New Zealand uh, where I wasn't wearing boots. Um, so I got to try it without the boots as well. Um, I mean, it works as any pad should do, really. Uh, it's not any, it's not superior in performance-wise, I don't think. Uh, but I think where it really, you know, is superior is the fact that it's eco and sustainable. So it really, it's a deck pad that works. It's sustainable. Price point's pretty good. The ethos behind the company. Do you, I mean, do you get the right idea? idea? Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I mean, he's fully driven by nature. I mean, that's his his motto. Mm -hmm. uh, eco pro driven by nature. Right. Um, so that's, that's quite cool. cool. Yeah, it's really good. Do you reckon yeah. I could have, have that about me? Driven by nature. <laughs> not, not shave ever. Driven by nature. Another small you Portuguese could, company sure. making a Portuguese manufactured product out yeah. of a sustainable material um, and a fair price. It's yeah, and it's all locally. It's, no, you can't yeah. go wrong, really. So how is it done? How does it wear? Uh, that's, the other, that's the other thing I wanted to ask you. How, how is it worn as you've done it? Because you've had it on how long now? Say? I'd say it's probably now had yeah, a good three, four months worth of use on the water. Uh -huh. Um, and, and you do surf a lot? Yeah, so I live on the coast, um, I teach, so I'm surfing, you know, I'm on the water every day, I'm teaching and trying to surf every day, I travel a lot, um, and it has now started to show little signs of wear and tear here. Yeah, um, you can see there's little bubbles sort of showing, but it doesn't look like it would affect the performance, I mean. No, that's what's interesting, I think there's a lot of boards actually now being made, well, there is a company making boards out of cork, which you never have to wax, and they Corko, don't. Have... No tox, isn't it? Oh, that's that's it. No tox, guys. Yeah. Yep. Yep. You Bottles. don't have to wax them at all. No. Brilliant. No, Someone's tried one of those, haven't they? It's not uh, coming up. That's coming right, up. Now. Okay. Yeah. yeah. We've tried. No tox make. Getting slightly off topic. No tox make two sorts of boards. They make ones made of cork, and they make ones made out of flax, which is the more traditional EPS, but with bio resin, and then a flax inlay instead of traditional fiberglass. Uh, yeah, what we're talking about, that's what And then also here near the, um, what did you call it earlier? The uh, rail... Rail saver. The rail saver. Uh, so it's got a little bit chewed away. Well, a, a mouse has been at it, hasn't it? Yeah, a little bit. So I think the leash obviously gets in there and kind of wear and tear, yeah. rubs on it. I mean, I don't use a, a traction pad at all. Is that some? Is that sort of wear and tear you can expect from a normal traction pad or not? You don't need one, you never surf. <laughs> <laughs> There's no getting away from it, is there? Um, no, it's the first I've seen uh, this early on, to be fair. Um, right. So I do think this ramp is quite high. Mm -hmm. I don't know what you what you think, because you do use a pad. Yeah, I mean I don't do it that many aerials anymore, but um, <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it's a little bit high. But have you seen a hippo trying to do a high jump? <laughs> yeah. <it's> <laughs> <laughs> maybe um, lower that a little bit and maybe even just cut out of this a yeah. little bit and that would solve that problem in there. Uh, you have also got it very close to your plug. Yeah, um, I quite like it. I mean, that, yeah, I'm yeah, 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 that. Then. Likes it close to his plug. So to sum up then, what would you give this overall, taking everything into account, price point, eco value, performance, wear and tear, out of 10? Putting you on the spot. Oh, yeah, I'd put this up in the nine, easy. Wow, I'd say that's for, pretty good. That's for last year, this was my best purchase. Okay, um, really? Well, I didn't okay. buy it, I got it. Get, yeah, yeah. Anyway. <laughs> we have given out a lot of nines lately. Exactly. We have is, I'm, yeah. I'm wondering whether we need to it's next, ramp next back next our next scale call. a little bit. I think before the wear and tear, it would have definitely been in the nine. Maybe now with wear and tear, I could maybe. Don't stick with it, dude, stick with it. Well, you're no, I mean, he's right, it's, it's, a bit of, well, I mean, it's, yeah. not, it's only three or four months. I mean, yeah. you can't give something that only lasts three or four months a nine. 8.5. Okay. 8 point we've, we've, apparently we've, we've uh, agreed. Eco, fair price, yep. does the job, looks cool. It, looks, it, looks um, cool. it does look cool, I'll give it. And it I, feels just as cool. Yeah. I mean, you, can't, you guys can't feel it, but it does feel really nice. And it looks premium, doesn't it? Yeah. Yeah. That is. Yeah. Could it's you not do something with some, just some wine bottle corks and uh, make your own? We could definitely try that after the show. We're gonna, we, it sounds like we're going to have a little DIY thing. Yeah. Tony Hart will be just, just cut little ones off like that little pieces. Just Both our wives little... drink a lot of wine. We should set them to it. I mean, we could uh, have to edit that out. <laughs> no, they're never going to watch this, are they? No, 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 that's, that's true. So, I'm not married to it. Last yeah. question, Nick. Last question. <laughs> <laughs> so, you're, so Nick's single, that's what he's trying to say. Yeah. That's what he's saying. Contact Link details. Below. Underneath my bank account details. <laughs> Last question for uh, on the Eco Pro deck pad. Is there any way you could think that they could make it more sustainable, better in any way? I think the area that when I when I spoke to the guy, uh, yeah, there's obviously the binder. Okay. Uh, what they use to, to glue it all together. I mean, that's three percent, which actually 
you know, on the whole scale of things in this day and age, it's really good. Um, so yeah, they're obviously looking at alternatives for the binder, mm -hmm. uh, and also the what they use to actually stick the pad to the board itself. Right, that's going to obviously need some. It's probably if it's staying on, it's probably 3M. I've talked, to, I've talked I talked to someone else about this, and they they were trying to not use 3M glue on their tail pads, and, and they found that as soon as they went away from it, it they were coming off. It's it, 3M seems to be the only product at the moment that is really keeping them on there for a decent period of time. They are for now using 3M. I mean, if it's going to come off, there's no point in, in making it. Is yeah, then it's not sustainable. True. Yeah. So, yeah. Okay, cool, so, very good. We like it, thumbs up. Thanks, Nick. 8.5. Thank you, Nick. Nick's going to stick around, uh, probably, before he runs off to Morocco on another holiday. <laughs> Doing some, uh, another review. I'm off surfing tomorrow, so... Um, yeah, Works yeah, hard, isn't it? So, this is stick around for a few other reviews anyway. Thanks for your time. Thanks. Whoop. Yeah, brilliant.